it's early in the morning. I'm not in the mood, so whatever. This video is not for guys, so I'm about to be talking about some weird shit. So if you don't want to listen to the weird shit, look off the video because this video is really for my ladies. Y'all, my freaking stomach is like bawling. Like, it feels like someone's just doing this inside of my stomach. The reason why is because I got my tubes tied after I gave birth to Zoe. Because I'm one of my kids. So, I got my tubes tied and my doctor told me, like, look, you sure you don't want to do birth control? Because when you get your tubes tied, your cycles are worse. I'm like, mm, whatever, they ain't going to be that worse. Like, right now, I feel like I have to throw up. Anyways, um, okay, every month when I have my cycle, being that I got my tubes tied, my cycles have been so bad, like, so bad. Like, uh, right now, I feel like I'm having contractions, like I'm fighting back tears. Y'all, it hurts so bad, like, like, it legit feels like I'm having contractions right now. Like, it hurts so freaking bad. But my doctor warned me, he said, your cycles are gonna be worse. Then I'm like having like these cold sweats. It's like I'm, I feel like I'm sweating, but I have my air on. Like it's just uncomfortable. I don't want any clothes on me. I just want to go home and just take everything off and just lay down. Like this is stupid. I'm so sick of it. Like I legit want to pay to go get my shit untied. I want to cry. Yo, this is the worst pain ever. Like I'm not even joking. Like, I for real feel like I'm about to faint. That's how I feel. Like, my body is feeling weak. On top of that, I've already been having trouble breathing every night. Like, for the past two weeks. Every night, I have the worst time breathing. It's like I'm fighting to breathe. Like, I can't breathe. I don't know. I need to go to the freaking doctor. But, I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to just go to the emergency room. Because they don't really be trying to, like, tell you what's really wrong with you. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, I gotta get off. Oh, it hurts so bad. I'm like still like 30 minutes away from my house. I just wanna go home. Oh my gosh. Y'all, women go through too much. Women go through too much. This is, this is crazy. Like, I legit feel like I'm about to pass out. I'm ready to get home. Oh. Oh. I'm legit about to throw up. I'm not even lying. Fuck. There's a bag back there, but I can't freaking get it because I'm driving. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. There's a such thing as um, getting your tubes tied. Sorry. <laughs> getting your tubes tied, you can still get pregnant. And I know that for a fact that that is true. But when you get pregnant and your tubes are tied, the baby can be in your tubes. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense, but nine times out of ten, when you get pregnant while your tubes are out, wait a minute. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Like I was saying, women who get pregnant who have their tubes tight, you can still get pregnant. If your tubes are tight, the baby will most likely be growing in your tubes, and obviously that's not good because that would be considered a tube baby and those babies don't make it obviously so I don't know I feel like I just really should go to the doctor because the way that I've been feeling lately 
it's like if it makes sense i'm just saying from experience you know from how i've been feeling it feels like i'm pregnant but i don't know like because clearly i'm on my menstrual cycle some women still have menstrual cycles during pregnancy but i feel like i am on my menstrual cycle but i've been feeling pregnant so i feel like the symptoms is that i'm pregnant but I don't know and then it's like I got my tubes tied but that don't mean nothing either because you can still have a baby while your tubes are tied <sighs> I just need to for real just go to the doctor and just see what's going on just in case I am pregnant and the freaking baby's in my tubes you know ow wait a minute ow 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 oh <laughs> irritated with my jacket band on me my clothes like I'm just so freaking irritated I just want to go home oh my god help me please oh it hurts so bad y'all I've legit been going through this for over a year this shit hurts like why can't women just their tube side and just be okay like but we got to go through pain and shit like the fuck? <sighs> i already know when i get home i'm about to be a baby i'm about to be balls up crying zoe is asleep i hope she stays asleep honestly i love my baby but mommy just needs to go back to sleep i hope i got some pain medicine at home i should have some i'm not sure we will see because uh-uh, I need to sleep this off. What's good? What's popping, y'all? Okay, I am in better spirits. I look a mess because I just woke up from a little nap, but y'all see me worse, so. <laughs> I done cried my eyelashes off, look. <laughs> Told y'all I wanted to come home and cry myself to sleep. This junk ain't no joke, period. I got on YouTube and I start like you know looking at ways to deal with cramps and menstrual cramps and stuff like that. And this one girl, like they were saying some weird stuff that I wasn't about to do, like exercise. Y'all know I don't exercise, like for real. <laughs> and they was like, get some heating pads. I don't have heating pads because I didn't go to the store. My whole robe is open. I'm so glad this camera is not down. So I got me a towel and I wet it, like I turned on the hot water and our hot our hot water gets super hot like for real for real so i turned on the hot water and um i went the towel real good i went and got in the bed and i just put the towel like you know down there and it's like the pain start going away like slowly slowly and i just fell asleep with the hot towel on my um lower stomach i also took two pain relievers too and i just fell asleep and um now i'm up i feel a lot better as y'all can see <laughs> i like i can jump around right now but i kind of feel like like i feel okay but i kind of feel like it's still a little pain down there if i just be up doing too much so i mean i'm just about to get my towel and wet it again um with some hot water and i'm gonna go Lay back in the bed with Zoe. Zoe's still asleep. Like, God is so good, y'all. Because Zoe usually be up just running around. And it's like, Mommy don't have time for that today, Zozo. Like, I don't. Like, at all. <laughs> so, God is so good. Like, Zoe just been sleeping this whole time. I'm really on here talking to y'all looking a mess. Like, I don't care. I already told y'all from the very beginning when I started my YouTube. Like, y'all gonna see me looking real, real sexy and beat one day. And the next day, I'm gonna be looking like a hot mess so i want to say this i just feel like if women get their tubes tied they're getting their tubes tied because they don't want to have no more babies but when you get your tubes tied you can still get pregnant 
like that's stupid to me right or like maybe i'm tripping but i don't know but i know many women many friends of mine like you know, older women that got their tubes tied like i did and they have children that's like about to graduate high school or that's in school like they have kids that actually survive the pregnancy but most of the time when your tubes are tied the baby does you know um actually grow in your tubes and that's not good because the baby's not going to survive that way that's like some women have two babies and some women actually go through with the pregnancy i know for a fact i've witnessed it since i've gotten my tubes tied i've gotten pregnant but it was a tube baby so i know for a fact this can happen to me again and i'm not trying to go through that because when you have a tube baby you they have to surgically remove it's just a lot you know what i mean like it's just a lot so that's why I'm like, God, don't let me be pregnant because, I mean, kids are a blessing. There's women out here who can't have kids that want kids, but I have three, three times a charm. I got my tubes tied for a reason. I'm not trying to have any more children, period. I don't want to be pregnant again. Like, I'm not trying to have no fourth. First of all, I'm not trying to have another baby daddy, for one. Um, if I ever have another baby, I want it to be with my husband. And right now, your girl ain't got no husband. So, period. So I'm not trying to have no baby right now. And then it's like, I'm not trying to be running around with four kids before I'm 30. Like, I can't. So I'm not in the mood. I'll go to the doctor maybe later on today, but not right now. I don't feel good. Maybe after I go get my kids from school and stuff. I'll go to the doctor and just see what's going on. Make sure I'm not pregnant, you know, because I keep throwing up and I just have symptoms that I'm pregnant. And... I don't know, maybe it's just me being stressed out about the holidays. I'm not sure, but I will go get a checkup and make sure I am okay or that, you know, I'm not pregnant. If I am pregnant, I'm not going to let y'all know because that's just something that I wouldn't be proud of. I'm not, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I just wouldn't be proud if I was pregnant only because I told myself I was getting my tubes tied for a reason. Um, I only wanted three children and, um... I want to have my fourth child with my husband if I ever get married. If I ever find a husband and get married, then me and him can have a child the right way because I've done it wrong for three, like, you know, three times already. So I wouldn't be excited. This was way before my, like, you know, menstrual cycle started. I was feeling sick and stuff, um, having trouble breathing, throwing up. I've been throwing up for, like, two weeks straight, you know what I mean? So it's like... I don't know. I'm just saying if I am pregnant, it's just going to be top secret. I'm not letting anybody know. You know, like, I'm just, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. But ladies out there, if you do ever get your tubes tied, it is possibilities that you can still get pregnant, period. So you just have to still be safe. But see, with me, I've been with the same man for a year and a half, over a year and a half. You know what I mean? Like, Next summer, it'll be like two years. So I've been with the same person for um, almost two years, you know, but still, <laughs> you can still get pregnant. So don't be out here thinking you can just screw around with people because you got your tubes tied and you ain't gonna get pregnant. Because sis, <laughs> let me tell you, you can still get pregnant, period. So then I just feel like it's dumb because like, what's the point of me getting my tubes tied? What's the point of going through that pain if I can possibly still get pregnant? But my doctor told me that, but I was thinking like, I ain't gonna get pregnant. And since I got my tubes tied, I had a pregnancy. It was a failed pregnancy, but I still had a pregnancy. And now here I am again, you know, having a pregnancy scare because I think I'm pregnant. So, but whatever. Let's pray that I'm not because I'm not in the mood. Period. <laughs> okay, y'all. I think I'm going to close this out. I've been talking too much about nasty stuff. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this little vloggy vlog before I start feeling sexy. Like, right now, I feel like I have to throw up right now. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, your girl is stressed out. I'm just about to go lay down. I'm about to wet my little towel. Make it real hot and just go lay down on the bed and watch Fire Stick or something. Anyway, I'm going to close this out. Because I've been talking to y'all long enough looking at ass. Um, this will be part of my vlogmas because I'm making a video. So Somebody left me a comment on Facebook saying none of your vlogmas videos has nothing to do with Christmas. First of all, stupid. 
vlogmas doesn't have to just all be about christmas some people make it all about christmas when you're doing vlogmas you can just post every day in december like it doesn't have to be about christmas you freaking I was about to say something, but I'm not going to say that. But people just be so worried about other people and what they're doing. Vlogmas does not have to be about Christmas. Let me let y'all know that now. It's just vlog and Christmas put together because that's just what whoever made up. I don't know who started it, but all I know is you can do Vlogmas and make it any kind of video you want it to be. It doesn't all have to be about Christmas, period. So I can post what I want to post for my Vlogmas. This video is Vlogmas Day 8 because vlogmas can be whatever kind of video as long as you're posting every single day in december that's what it's about or until christmas anyway but i don't really gotta explain that but i still explained it because i just thought about it but because i'm like i'm gonna make this obviously my vlogmas day eight but whatever guys um y'all make sure y'all comment like and subscribe and um i don't think i have anything else to say yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to go lay back down, and I will see you guys on tomorrow, Black Mistake 9. Bye, guys.